Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we'll be doing a video on the Hornby Coca-Cola Christmas train set. So this literally turned up today um, so I thought might as well do a review straight away before um, Dan comes to do some more wiring on the main layout. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick review. So when I first heard about this, I was like, I've got to have one just because it's just pretty cool. There's Coca-Cola train. Um, and I thought Christmas coming up, I'm going to have this at the base of my Christmas tree and that's what's going to happen. So what do you get? So obviously you can tell by the box you get a little over the track, um, a locomotive, two wagons and the power supply and the controller. What is very nice indeed and the box itself just looks really appealing. You got the whole Christmas atmosphere with all the snow covered trees in the background, all the snow on the ground and it's a whole and just the whole thing with the whole Santa with the Coca-Cola glass bottle just springs Christmas to me. Like, I know Christmas is coming and the season started when I first see the Coca-Cola lorry advert on TV. So you kind of notice it quite reasonably. And they're going up the stairs. Um, so you got Santa with the Coca-Cola uh, bottle on the one box van, as you can see in the picture, and it's just, it's just, it just springs Christmas. So this will be kind of going around my little Christmas tree I have in my room. So it's getting the festive spirit. So as you can see, it's quite a chunky box. Coming to the back of it, you get the whole picture of the locomotive, what is a Bagnall, uh, a Bagnall shunter. Yeah, I did used to have a Bagnall, just the plain one without the Coca-Cola stuff wrote on it, but then ended up selling it. So it's quite nice to have another one. Uh, so product code is Romeo1233 and it's called the Christmas train set. As you can tell, it's not really much on the box. So we're just gonna move this to one side quickly and get the stuff out. So, I'm gonna move the camera up for this. So, as you can see, there's some bits missing. That is because under my layout, I have the track and the controller set up ready for the review. Um, <clears throat> just so it's easier off camera for me. Um, so obviously you would have the power supply, uh, the controller, the power supply in these. You would have two pieces of straight track and four pieces of, I believe, fourth radius? Fourth, third radius curves? So you have eight of them two straight, well, one straight and a power track, controller and stuff. This is the fun part. Oh, Alexa, stop. Sorry about that, that was my Alexa going off. Um, and underneath here, you do have the Gump. So you get building your world, um, just showing you kind of track radiuses and stuff like that. The owner's, manu owner's manual and the instruction sheet. Um, just kind of everybody knows what they all look like um, so let's get into what everybody's looking forward to so in here we have a re-railer so basically it's what you put the train on with it's quite hard to hold the camera and undo this at the same time 
Okay, basically everybody knows what a re-railer is. It's a little ramp that goes onto the track that you put your train on, push it down and it should go on. I do have problems with these ones though. Um, I seem like they don't go on very well. So I use, uh, I don't actually know what make it is. I don't actually know where it is right now. Ah, oh, there it is. I use a big, this one cost me about 250, something like that. Um, just a nice big one, that works wonders for me. That's the one I normally use to put stuff on. So let's get back into the review, let's not get sidetracked. So let's do the locomotive first. Just move this clingy stuff out the way. And there you have it. If my camera wants to focus, the Coca-Cola Bagnall. Very, very nice indeed. Quite basic on details, everything's molded. Um, but it's a, it's a train set. It's not meant to be the highest quality yeah it's just meant for fun really and i love it absolutely love it so we've got all this lovely stuff in here so we're just gonna put that to one side then we have the two coca-cola containers on the wagon and a little thing I will say is the doors, the container doors, as you can see in there, um, they were on the outside, but as someone that's worked on the railway shunting containers and wagons and around, we always put the doors to the inside for safety reasons, just due to if the door does come undone under transit, it doesn't fully open and let everything out, it hits the other container and nothing can spill out. So that's the reason why doors always get put onto the inside, so I kind of changed them around. So you get a nice little Coca-Cola container train. It's quite hold, hard to hold these things. I'll do a proper look in a minute once I get them all out. Uh, then finally, and um, at least, we have the little box van with the famous Santa and the cola bottle on it. Very nice. They're quite light as well, the wagons, but the loco certainly isn't. So I'm just gonna quickly move these out of the way. Set up my tripod again. Okay. So as you can see, we got the, the trio here. So as you can see, very basic shunter diesel, uh, diesel shunter, sorry, and this is a bagnall. Um, you got the lovely application of the Coca-Cola livery there and this lovely red and grey. Everything is all moulded, um, so it's quite basic, got quite a lot of weight to it. Uh, buffers are not sprung, you got a giant Hornby coupler. Uh, you got all your grill detail and moulded handrails for the engine doors on both sides and a little toolbox. Uh, moulded steps. Uh, glazed windows. On the back you got some lights but they obviously don't work, they're just painted silver. But it's a nice, it's a lovely model for a little train set like this. Absolutely lovely. I do recommend this train set. Um, so I'm just going to put that to one side. So then we got this little box van. Just move my camera a little bit closer for you guys. So well, it's absolutely beautiful finish to this box round with the Santa and the cola bottle and the coca-cola livery there the logo sorry absolutely beautiful whitish grey roof coming around to the sides this is where I do obviously this side is exactly the same 
but then I pick at Hornby a little bit, just a little bit. The whole screw, the whole, whole thing for the coupling to hold on to. There's a hole right there. And there's like this little kind of extended bit of the wagon here. My opinion, the box should have been the whole length, like a normal st standard long box on wood, all the length and would have hit that hole, but that's just me. But it's absolutely lovely little wagon, except for the, the hole, the two hole, the one hole either side. I've got nothing against it. It's a lovely little wagon and I would like to try and get some more of these and uh, some more of the Coca-Cola wagons they're bringing out. Um, just to make the set a little bit a little bit longer that's really really nice put that to one side and then you got the gigantic <laughs> containers so pretty basic just like the basic railroad um, containers you've got the flatbed with the the 12 prongs on them got the hole in the container you got the doors and the livery application and they just slot in on the holes where they need to be uh, on these you got the large couplers as well but very very nice indeed so Let's get all of this on the track and uh, see how she runs. Um, just to inform you guys, I have ha had it running in for an hour each way. And uh, as you will see in a minute, it's an absolutely amaz an amazing runner. Um, you would think something like a kind of railroad kind of locomotive is one of what we call the pocket rocket so the motor is really powerful all it wants to do is just go really really fast round and round in circles but this thing goes as slow as a very exclusive uh, model so just bring it you guys under here so this is underneath my layout right now as it's currently empty underneath my layout um, I do have a light on in here um, the lighting is terrible guys and there you go that's what it looks like all together absolutely lovely does look really really nice together to be honest I really do like this thing so if we just that's how slow it wants to crawl that's amazing I'm really impressed with how slow that motor is You could get away of doing a whole Coca-Cola factory layout and having a yard just with this one loco. Set a, like a Coca-Cola factory in like Christmas time, so all of the wagons are being put with Santa on them. Um, maybe a bit of snow. You could re and kind of going through like the snowy forest out of the uh, out of the yard. You could you could do a really really nice kind of layout with this and have realistic speed shunting going on i i think it's absolutely i think it's really really cool that this runs how slow it does so i'm just going to speed it up and let it run around so as you can see i've got the layout hired up off the ground off the carpet um it's just literally a small oval it was really really nice just see how well Fella runs. Really sorry about the light, guys. Um, the Hornby controller has changed again from the horrible, horrible, horrible silver one. This one, I actually quite like this Hornby controller as a basic one. It's more, 
it's more weighty than the really really light one i i really like this controller um as a basic starter one so if you're gonna if you're looking on a nice cheap basic hornby controller i would recommend one of these ones not yeah let's see if i got one to hand there's one literally right next to me in a drawer i just need to get to it so that's the nice one that's the really 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 cheap one that's really light really just i don't like using that um but this is the better starter controller so as you can see it's going around really really nicely it's got a bit of noise to it but it's not the loudest i've ever heard it's really really nice And I'm really, really glad that I got this model. So I'm just gonna bring him into view. Oh, camera's gone out of focus. There we go. So there you have it. There is the review of the Christmas train set, uh, the Coca-Cola one. I like to call it the Coca-Cola Christmas train set, just so it doesn't get muddled up with the Santa's Express train set or whatever the other little one's called with the steam engine. Um, I just call it the Santa's, uh, the Coca-Cola Christmas train set. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go like, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. Um, as I've said in the previous video, we are trying to get the channel up to 100 subscribers once we get to 100 i would do a full prep of a cl real class 08 uh, i will show you guys how to prep one and then if we hit the 1000 i will show everyone a how to video on how to drive a class 08 so hope you guys enjoyed this video i've enjoyed making this video and i really enjoy this train set i think it's the most ideal thing to have for a Christmas present um, or at the base of the Christmas tree be pretty cool to get the um, the other Christmas train set with the steam engine and the presents um, I've got some present wagons um, but it'd be nice to uh, get that one as well and have um, like a double loop a small double loop around the Christmas tree that'd be pretty cool um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making this one and we'll see you in the next one.